Hello, I'm Bob Pellerin, CTO Bob, and today I'll be taking a quick look at how you install a Windows 11. So if you get, got yourself a copy of the ISO floating around on the internet and you want to install it on the virtual machine, I'm going to show you how because I got a lot of questions about that and a lot of please help me install this, it's not working type of uh, questions. So I thought it'd be easier just to show you. So if you like this video, particularly, please give us a thumbs up. And if you're a subscriber, thank you so much. It really helps us out. And if you're not, please go ahead and press that subscribe button. We really do appreciate it. So let's go ahead. First thing first, uh, I'm using ESXi uh, server from uh, VMware, as you can see by the background. So that's my preferred virtual environment. Of course, you can use Hyper-V and, and various other ones out there if that's what you so choose. So this is what I'm going to use today. Uh, if you're using a single computer, like for example your home computer, uh, then you could uh, get the VMware workstation, which is a something that runs on top of Windows. So this particular version that I'm using actually sits directly on hardware. It allows me to have multiple virtual machines or VMs. So let's take a quick look. So first thing you need to do is to sign into it. I mean, it's pretty straightforward. So let's just go ahead and do that. Now, one of the things that I need to uh, show you here is before you start, you need to take the ISO, whether it's Windows 11 or Windows 10, and deposit it, put it directly onto the server. So you do that by going into the data store. So you click on data store browser, and then what you do is you click on there, you click, for example, ISO, and then you would simply click on the upload button, and then it asks you where to go get it. You go get it, you click, and you click on open, and then they will go ahead and upload it. Now, I've already done this, so it's sitting on my data store already. Now, a little word uh, to everybody out there. Windows 11 is not an official release. In fact, it hasn't really been announced yet as of uh, this date, just so you understand that. So it means that it's something that potentially uh, could be uh, fake. It could be something that has a virus, malware, ransomware on it. So definitely act accordingly. And if you're going to put this on something, make sure it's not, especially not a production environment, but make sure it's something that you can afford to lose. So whether it's a laptop or in my case, it's a virtual machine. So I will be uh, making sure that is, it's isolated so that it does not uh, communicate with everything else and potentially uh, endanger my data or anything else on the server. So having said that, um, there is a leak. It's uh, It's been reviewed by others out there. So I'm pretty confident that this is a, a build of Windows 11. So a build is basically a, an internal copy that they distribute internally for testing, for programming, for a whole bunch of different reasons. And uh, somebody apparently put it out on the internet. So let's go ahead and load this. So the first thing you'd want to do is you want to right click on virtual machine, say create register VM, and we're going to go ahead and click on the create a new virtual machine. If you do have a hold of this ISO, by the way, do not redistribute it. Uh, that is definitely not something that uh, is legal. So I'm just going to call it win 11. And this is where you can set the compatibility. Uh, there was some confusion. I do get a lot of questions about this and they seem to uh, mix the VM compatibility with the host version of VMware. So if you click on here, what you can see is different versions of it. So if you were to select ESXi 7 update one like we have now, if you were to try to take that VM and push it off to say a 6.5, you would get an error. Uh, I have another video on this subject. So if ever you have selected something higher and all of a sudden you wish to transfer it from one server to another and are encountering that problem, see my other video. That's the way to fix it. In this case, everything is seven update one. So, and this is a test environment as well. So it will not live very long on the server. We just want to take a quick look around. So let's go ahead and select guest OS families, Windows. You won't find Windows 11 on here for obvious reasons. So what we're going to do is select Windows 10 64 bit. We're going to do next. And where is it going to live? It's going to live on my data store. And what I'm going to do is I'm going to go ahead and give it four virtual CPUs. I like to work in gig, gig yeah, okay, some gigs here. So I'm going to switch this to have eight gigs of memory. And for space, um, we need at least 20, 
I think I calculated around 22 gigs, but so we're going to go ahead and give it about, well, let's try 25. We really aren't going to run anything in here, so yeah, I'll make it 30. Okay, just give me a bit of room. Okay, so the other thing is the network card. This is a bit of a preference, but really if you want to optimize speed and so forth, you probably want to go down and pick the VMX Net3. You'll get better bandwidth out of it and throughput. Um, and the other thing is where it says CD, DVD drive. This is actually where you go and select the ISO. So I'm going to say data store ISO file. I go to my ISO directory. I'm going to pick my Windows 11 ISO. And that's all there is here. So then we do next. We're going to review it here. There's actually something else that we need to go and change, but we're going to go ahead and click on finish. So now I technically have a VM called Windows 11, which is here. Okay, so I'm going to click on edit. And contrary to what you may have read, or in fact, what I thought, what you need to do is go into the options, go to boot options, and you're going to go ahead and replace the EFI with BIOS. Um, I know some people have told me that uh, you need to use EFI, but uh, from my tests before doing this video, you need to set it to BIOS here. So we're going to go ahead and click on save. And now the virtual machine is ready. So all we need to do is power it on. Then we're going to click on console here and we're going to click on new window so we can see what's going on. And right away, what you're going to see is that the windows start screen is there. See, so that means that it connected to the ISO, it loaded it and there was no error. So let's go ahead and click on next. Of course, by default, we're in English US. If you want to have other languages, uh, actually, there are, well, there's only, there's seems to be no other language in this particular ISO. Of course, you can change the, the keyboards and a few other things. So I'm going to go ahead and click next, click install now. And now you will have to wait with me. So we'll try to time lapse this a little bit because this is going to take a little while. Uh, I'm going to go ahead and say I do not have a product key for obvious reasons. I'm going to be installing the Windows 11 Pro. So I'm going to do next. It's going to ask me which drive to put it on right after I accept here. So I'm going to say custom and here's my drive that we created. I'm going to say next and then we just sit and wait for it to load. So for those of you who are worried about once this starts, because I mean there will be a reboot, but because of the network card or network interface card, the NIC to be more specific, that I selected, uh, it needs to have VMware tools installed. So it doesn't actually have the proper drivers right away in order to communicate to the internet through the card. So because of this, right now it really is isolated. Of course, uh, in our case, in order to do some proper testing at the end, we will go ahead and uh, turn that on and I'll show you how to do that as soon as it's up and running but uh, we've uh, we've done a few tests before so make sure there was nothing uh, funny or too funny with this uh, version and uh, we couldn't see it trying to communicate or do anything nasty to the rest of our machines so we're a little more confident about the ISO that we got okay so now we need to select where we are since this is not production it really doesn't matter for me at this point how accurate this is. You want to no, Okay, so we've just selected not to put in. And, okay, I'm going to say I have no internet for now. And continue with limited setup. We're going to just type in admin and give it a password. Okay, so as you can tell, the graphics are different. The look and feel certainly has improved. I traditionally put uh, all these to no, since we're not going to be using a lot of these. Okay, so I'm going to say accept in this case. I'm not sure how 
great the video uh, appears to you. Um, the colors are a little off to me and they're kind of grainy, so I'm not sure if that's... Uh, I mean, I, I'd usually tweak that in either the video settings or... But again, this is just really a trial run and we're taking a quick look around, so we're not too concerned with any of this. Okay, so congratulations. You've made it with me to Windows 11. So, as you can tell, I mean, I'm not going to go into it, but um, the look and feel is dramatically different. I mean, to me, it looks a lot more like, dare I say, Apple OS X. Everything's sort of centered. You put the bottom, you know, things on the bottom. It looks refreshed. It looks cleaner. It's got rounded edges. Um, you can have the power down here. You've got your user information down here. Uh, the settings and so forth and of course as you add uh, applications and so forth and you pin them they will appear here so without getting into the OS at this point since I will be making another video uh, let's go ahead and complete this by actually connecting ourselves back to the internet as you can tell here there's a little planet and it says not connected so the way we fix that is you're gonna go here right on top there's that little tab guest OS and click on install VMware tools. By the way, if you're having some problems with keyboard that's not responding well or the mouse that is very erratic, for example, you go to click and it's moving around and uh, the VMware uh, tools will help with that. In fact, should be the fix for it. So go ahead and install those. Particularly right now, the reason I'm installing it is because I need to connect the, um, I can actually just click go to, uh, uh, 64 here we go uh, okay not to get too sidetracked so the the network interface card or the NIC needs to be recognized so this will actually install the drivers for it so I'm going to go ahead and leave the typical when you click next you're going to see it in here at some point it's you're going to see it notice uh, see all the different drivers it's putting in and see VMX net 3 just passed by that is the one for the network so that might also help us with the graphic uh, display that I mentioned earlier that I, I thought was a little grainy because uh, right now it looks very clean to me. So we're going to do that. It's going to reboot. And as soon as it finishes rebooting, we are done. We now have Windows 11 set up inside of a virtual environment. If you want to play with it now uh, using tools like TeamViewer or go to my PC or any of those things, you could install that into this virtual machine and you could use it there. So you know, I'm just gonna go ahead and lock back in. And that is it. So that's your very first look at Windows 11 and tune into the next video to see the settings and then a few other things that are built in. So I'm Bob Pellerin, CTO Bob. I want to thank you for watching. If you want to reach us or if you want to see blogs and other things that I write about, you can visit us at www.ctobob.com. And of course, leave us a line below. We do read all the comments that you leave. So thanks for watching. We'll see you in the next video.